is your first year of college and you're fortunate to have some familiar faces around. Your best friend of many years a newer friend that you share a very spicy back and forth with, and a young boy worth his weight in attitude, is warm and familiar, like cocoa on a cold autumn day, but you can't shake the feeling that something is wrong. You've just sat down in media studies, when he sits next to you, sliding your soda under the desk. The black market soda bandit strikes again. <laughs> they thought they made the soda machines harder to hack, but they just made it easier on me. Goes to show you how Autumn Peak handles lower tier delinquents versus actual thieves, eh? How goes, good buddy? buddy. Simon giving you shit again, eh? That boy makes no sense. I don't even know why we keep him in our twisted little group. He does just sit his ass down at our table. That's true. Maybe he has a crush on Drake. A tall, very goth boy sits on your other side with a grunt. Ah. Uh. Who's got a crush on me? Drake rolls his eyes. Yeah, yeah, Spiel. I already know you want all up on my meats. But your usual comments. I'll spank you with a lunch tray if you keep it up. Ugh, you two should just screw already. The sexual tension is starting to taste like nerdy sadness mixed with cherry soda. A very rude gentleman flops down a few seats away with a grumble. <sighs> I'm with Jason for once. You two constantly flirt and then lewd with one another. Just find an empty room and get it over with. You carry protection in bulk, if I recall, Drake. Yeah, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Before he can answer, the teacher pipes up and talks briefly about the projects you're all working on. A simple movie of your own design, due by the end of the year. With that, you're free to grab your usual equipment and head off. Yeah, right. I think we're on the scene where the decapitated monster head, it flies through the air. And in the savannah's face, while she tries to flee through the auditorium curtains. Ugh. Maybe don't toss it so hard this time. Especially while screaming, Yeet! It was funny! Savvy! You know the role of funny. It beats out the rule of common sense. And common decency. Look, come on, to the auditorium. He grumbles and the four of you make your way to the auditorium that looks out over the cafeteria. Here's good enough, I think. Spiel, you and Drake, get the camera set up, alright? I think they moved some stuff around and I want to check it out with Jason. Oh yeah, why me? Because you're a big dumb jock, Jason, and I might need to lift things. Hmm, fair enough. But if you call me dumb again, I'm dumping a crate on your crown of hairspray. The two bicker as they walk off, leaving you with Drake. Hey, do, do you like Jason? I know you two grew up together as all. Well, and he's always going out of his way to bring you snacks, drinks... He was out in the rain for two hours when your car broke down in the middle of nowhere. You two are good to each other. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm just confused, I guess. Like we flirt constantly, threaten each other with a good time constantly. But if I try to get close to you, you act like I'm a big bad wolf trying to eat you up. 
We've known each other a long time, Spiel. A really long time. Are you scared of... Jason and Simon come back, still bickering. See, it was good that you came. There's no way I would have got those boxes out of the way by myself. That's true. But hey, maybe they would have toppled over on you. And you would have made for a nice rug. <laughs> Spill, come here. I need to exercise all this nuisance energy. Oh. I think I can actually ruffle your hair. <laughs> what are you going to do? Pinch my nips again? Hey, no, stop. Drake, help. Sacrifice your nips instead. Ah, his are pierced. They're made for tugging on. Hey, unless you want this to turn into a different kind of film, probably don't mess with my chest. Come on. Where's the half of class just goofing around I don't want to come in on the weekend again? Get into position. You're hiding from the disembodied head. Trademark. You think you're safe and then the head is going to come flying at you from the shadows. You scream and we cut to the next scene. Got it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in position, Jason. I swear, if you do what you did last time, I won't scream. Geet! And I won't scream, get no scope this time. Jeez. Or any other memes. God, you're no fun, Spiel. Hey, you look all tense. Jason looks at Drake out of the corner of his eye for a moment and lowers his voice. Did Drake do something weird again? No? Good. I know he can be a little intense at times, but he's generally a really good guy, huh? Yeah, I know. I used to say I didn't like him, that he had a weird vibe, but I've gotten to know the guy. Same as you. He's cool. I think it's okay to ease up a little, you know? Now come on, we need to get this scene shot before Savannah goes full Karen on us. You set up the lights in the scene before Drake calls. Action! I, I, I think I lost it. I, if I can just... He pauses, eyes widening as Jason mimics a low, growling cackle. Shit! I, I need to run before it's too late. Be yoded! The heavy plastic head flies through the air, somewhat towards Simon, but a bit more in the direction of... Uh, I, I didn't mean to! Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Go get the school nurse! You feel your head gently being lifted and see Drake's face above you. The hit must have been hard. Hard enough for you to not trust what you are seeing. Talk to me, Spiel. How are you feeling? You see eyes in my hair? Jeez, that must have been one hell of a hit. Don't worry, all right? I'll get you. He murmurs something, but your brain is refusing to stay awake. You think it might have been... I always will. 